Hello everyone. Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I will show you how to import ASCII data into the Aspen IC software. So now, uh, we have this data from the ExxonMobil website. So if you want this particular, you want a link to this particular data, you could indicate in the comment section so this data was gotten from the ExxonMobil website so i'll be showing you how to actually import this assay data into the aspen ic software now this data is for the crude blend kwa ibue yes kwa ibue is a kind of crude that is produced in nigeria so we'll be importing this into the aspen ic software so to do that all you need to do is you click on your petroleum assays right petroleum assays then you click on um yeah you click on import from file you click on import from file then here uh you change the data format so i want to just change it to exxon mobile so i'm changing the assay data format to exxon mobile then you click on this plus sign you click on this plus sign then you go to where that particular document is located in your system or your device and then you click on it then you click open then once you click open you can click import so now when you click import you'll be asked to specify the temperature range for that particular assay so i just want to use um I'll use 1500 Fahrenheit because I think the highest here is over 1000, yes, about 1488. So I just use up to 1500. So I use this as a component Fahrenheit to 1500 Fahrenheit. Then I click OK. So once I click OK, the software the um, data is imported into the software then i click ok here then all the data from that particular sheet from that excel sheet from here is imported into the software all the data both the um, properties of the crude and then the distillation column uh, the yeah the assay percent data yes the assay percent data everything is imported into the software so you have this you have all of this right here so now you have your distillation data as well right you have your distillation data now this um importation is for uh a multi-cut blend yeah you have this is for a multi-cut blend not a single cut now you see the temperature here is in celsius but in the data it is actually in fahrenheit yes it's in fahrenheit so the software automatically converts it automatically converts it back to celsius automatically converts the temperatures back to celsius so now all of the data that is required from that particular sheet has been imported into the software in this case there is no um there is no uh data for light ends you remember light ends from our introduction there is no data for light ends so you can actually ignore that there is no data for light ends from this particular sheet sorry about this from this particular sheet there is no data for light ends so we can ignore it and you can just simply characterize like that so you just click on characterize rc so it characterizes based on the imported data so it's still loading it's still loading okay okay it's still loading it's loading okay so now the um assay has been characterized by the software the imported data has been characterized now here you can check your warning messages it just says the missing uh description 
you have region and then you have country to input those you can do that by clicking on the name of the assay you can click on it on under this uh, petroleum assays you just click on it and then you can specify the country the region um let me specify the region the region is west africa the country is yeah nigeria so after specifying it you can still go back to your results and um, characterize again okay go back to inputs assay and characterize again and it should actually clear that particular warning message okay so that should work okay still loading yes so now we can go and check it again okay i think it should have cleared yes so that warning message has cleared so this is how to actually import data into the software assay data in particular so you can check your cut yield you can check your cut yield and other um let me see other plots that you have here this is your distillation plot this is your distillation plot then you can also still check other plots as well yes you can check for different kind of plots from this the viscosity plot you can check all the types of plots that are present and also you can also generate a report if you want you can export you can export your data you can still export to excel as well if you want using this generate report then um i want to speak a little on the um the method of manually entering the data right i want to talk about it a little bit before this video ends now for the manually enter when you click on it and probably you click on the um cut range for the temperature you click ok now you have the opportunity to specify a multi-cut crude now when you click on it in this case the data we have here for this um qua ibue it can also be inputted to the software manually right it can be inputted manually in case you don't want to import it directly now in this case you have you have seven quotes right one two three four five six seven you have seven quotes and that those seven quotes can be entered manually so i will just show you briefly how it works so enter so once you specify the number of quotes the next thing is to specify the temperature ranges so now um, the temperature is in i think it's in um fahrenheit so initially i will just um, specify random temperatures and then we will correct them later because i cannot change to fahrenheit here so i will just specify random temperatures so that i can leave this environment right so we have this let me just see 400 and 500 okay 500 so i will click on ok now it takes me to another environment yes so now i can manually enter those properties from that particular sheet right and these are the court ranges for each of the courts now i can now change the temperature units to fahrenheit so let me see yes i can change it to fahrenheit right now i can input the correct um temperatures that are actually specified over there so we have for example we have um from initial boiling point to 60 degrees fahrenheit so i can change this to 60 this is 60 then we have 60 to we have 60 to let me see we have 60 to 165 so this is how you input these temperatures
so i have changed all the temperatures to the correct temperatures that are actually in that table right so these are the actual temperatures in the table so now you can input all those properties that are actually in that um, table so let's go back to the table we have for example we have court volume from here we have the first um, property is court volume now uh okay so from this um uh um properties that are here we don't have court volume here yours you may have court yield right court yield right but in this table this uh excel sheet we don't have court yield so any property you don't find here you are expected to look for it yourself right so for example if i want court volume i will just come here click on the plus sign and search for volume or court volume anyone i can find let me see if i can find court volume okay so we have court yield by volume right so in your own you may find i think you will find court yield by weight right so but in this case we need the volume instead so we are clicking on this and it's in percentage then you click on this um, tick box right so once you click on the tick box is added to your table it's added to your table i think i would let me see okay i can't delete this okay so it's added to your table so when you add that particular um property you can now specify the values right you can just decide to copy everything for example you can just copy this you can just copy all of this and paste it there right you can copy all of that and just paste it here so you do paste yes so it pastes everything for that particular property and you can also do that for a couple of others as well right so um let me see okay so i can easily add another property here let me see which property will i add here okay mm, let me see okay i can add carbon carbon weight percent so here we have carbon weight percent so i can decide to add it in that empty box so let me see carbon weight so i'll search for carbon weight percent so we have carbon okay so this is carbon weight percent so you can just click on this okay so carbon weight percent is here now right so now you can also copy your you can also copy the values sorry about that so you just copy it and you paste it there in that um, carbon weight percent so no i don't want to remove i just paste it yeah, so it pastes all the properties for that particular, all the values for that particular property. Then also, you can actually change the unit of a particular property. If you are inputting manually, you can change the unit. What you need to do is just, you just click on that unit and you get to change it. For example, I think freeze point is in Fahrenheit. Let's check. Freeze point. Freeze point is in Fahrenheit yes okay so freeze point here is in fahrenheit so you can actually change you can change the um you can change the units of freeze point freeze point here is in celsius you can change it by double clicking you double click on that property and you come to the drop down to change to the required um units and then you click on the tick box so that it affects the change right so that's how adding the properties work then also um also for the distillation data yes for the distillation data you can actually click here to add cuts right you click on this um click to add cuts so that you can add the respective cuts to your distillation data rather than just having a single cut for your crude assay so once you click on click to add cuts you now click on this 
clicking on this um, first box checks all the other boxes right but if you want to click on some specific codes you can do that by just individually clicking on them and then clicking add right but if you want to add everything you just click on this you click on this and it adds everything it ticks everything automatically and you can just add it add all of them right you can just add all of them now in this case you will now be able to actually add your distillation data right from the initial boiling point to the uh, end point right so for the initial and the end point you can use zero percent right zero percent for initial and then hundred percent for the final and you can just copy all of this right you can copy all of this from here to here you can just copy all of it to the um software right just copy and paste it then once you are done inputting all of the distillation data and then the um properties right and then the properties you can now characterize the assay and then continue with your modeling then if you want to check the um, plots that are generated you can easily do that after you have characterized your data so this is how manually entering um, multi uh assays work right then finally for um, generating reports you can just click on this right you can click on this to export the um characterized data that has been generated from the software and then you click on this right here and then you click next you click next if you are okay with everything you just keep clicking on next until until you get to this point where you can generate report so once you click on generate you can um type the name of the document you want it to be saved that to be saved as right so for example if i just say I, I save it as that and then i click on okay so it just exports it to yes so it exports it to excel and then it saved as an xls document so this is the data the characterized data that has been generated right this is for the um qua iboe this is the qua iboe the one we imported into the software right so this is the report that has been generated by the software on that particular characterized data right so this is it so with this we have come to the end of this lecture I hope you have gained some knowledge. If you still have questions about oil characterization, kindly let me know in the comment section. Also, if you want um, the link to this uh, Excel sheet, this one, if you need the link to this Excel sheet or you need this particular file itself, you can also let me know in the comment section. Then, like this video, share with your friends. Also, subscribe to this channel if you have not done so yet. Thank you for joining me in this particular tutorial. Do have a good day.